After finishing off last season with a record of 8 wins and 8 losses, the University at Albany men's lacrosse team have been working hard and are taking a new approach while training in the offseason. Head coach Scott Maher hopes this new method of training will help secure a spot for the Great Danes in the America East Championship held in May. We did, uh, we did a lot of things differently. We really worked with Tony Tullock, our strength coach this year, mm -hmm. in, our, in our speed endurance and uh, in our footwork stuff um, since uh, September of, of last year. So uh, these guys have really increased their, their strength and their, and their speed over the last six months. And you know, we think that's going to be a big advantage for us. We, we're just a lot quicker and a lot faster than we have been in the past. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, that and, and we, we brought in a leadership uh, program called The Program and uh, just, just talked to us about leadership and team play. and and uh, guys supporting each other and things like that. So that was, that was a good boost for us as well. So uh, we've taken a little bit different approach to things. Really, conditioning is the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. you know, even today and a Monday, um, really all we're going to do is lift and condition. Right. So uh, very different than other years where we come out and practice for two hours. Today we probably won't practice for more than a half an hour. Despite the coaching staff and teammates having high expectations for the outcome of the 2009-2010 season, the Great Danes were predicted to place third in America East preseason polls, the team's lowest ranking since their trip to the NCAA quarterfinals in 2007. But even though the Danes will be facing some tough competitors in conference play, what does Coach Marr think of these preseason polls? Well, I mean, uh, you know, polls are polls. You know, people have opinions, but, uh, you know, I think it's about where we are. We finished third last year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think coming off an 8-8 eight eight season and you're losing the semifinals, I mean, I don't think you deserve to be ranked any higher, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we certainly have the talent on paper um, to step up this year and, and make a, you know, make a difference, you know, for us and, and, and make a different statement than being number three, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're certainly, uh, you know, we're happy with that. It gives us a little motivation, uh, you know, and, and we're excited to get, uh, you know, the conference play underway. But we got a long way to go before we get to the conference. But will this be enough motivation to take on two nationally ranked teams in conference play? With so much competition in the America East Conference this year, who will be the Danes' biggest rival? Uh, I would say we're going after both UMBC and Stony Brook. Stony Brook took us out of the playoffs last year, and UMBC is the reigning champ. With conference games underway, the men's team will also be facing eight nationally ranked teams in the upcoming weeks in non-conference play. The Great Deans lost five of the eight games in which they played these ranked teams last year and are excited at the possibility of facing these competitors again. But of these highly ranked teams, who would prove to be the most challenging contest for the Dane season? Toughest nine conference game would probably have to be Syracuse, yeah. you know, the defending national champions for the past two years. Mm -hmm. um, playing in the Dome is always a tough place, so uh, really looking forward to that one and mm -hmm. it should be a tough game. Although the Danes have had a tough couple of seasons, Coach Marr and the rest of the athletic staff are hoping the combination of a new method of training and a team unity program will give the Danes the strength they need to make an impact on the 2009-2010 season and to hopefully make it to the NCAA tournament in May. For ATV 360, I'm Sam Striebel.